want to welcome you all uh, one more time to the Lion Habitat Ranch. My name is Robert. This is Robin. She's one of our lovely volunteers. She is going to be acting as Ozzy's easel today. And the star of the show today is Ozzy. He is a male, six-year-old reticulated giraffe. He's not full grown yet. Um, we'll ask him in a little bit how tall he is. We'll see if he'll show you guys that. But painting is uh, his favorite thing to do. He is a very um, talented. He does a lot of stuff. He does hats, scarves, t-shirts, canvases, multiple sizes, a bunch of different custom stuff. And he also does face painting and fingernails if uh, Robin's not paying attention. <laughs> He's uh, branching out into his topiary skills right behind me. If you guys check out all those mulberry trees over there, it's uh, his topiary skills at its finest. If you guys do hear, if you guys do hear me clicking, that's just uh, me letting Ozzy know he's doing a good job and he's going to get paid for what he's doing. It's called a bridge. So when he makes a stroke, I make a click and it lets him know he's getting paid for that, and not for like dropping the brush or something. We don't want to inadvertently train him to do something we don't want him to do. Ozzy is a herbivore, that means he eats vegetables. Um, mainly leaves and stuff is his main diet, it's what he'll eat in the wild. But right now he's working for lettuce, carrots, and Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts right now I think this is his favorite thing. Doesn't seem to turn them down at all. Pretty Ozzy. He's going to stick that long tongue out, if you guys notice. He's just letting me know he's ready to paint. He's not supposed to paint with um, food in his mouth, so sticking that tongue out lets me know he's ready to go. Good job, Oz. Yeah, the more he does, the more I'm going to reward him. We like to call that a high magnitude or a jackpot. It just uh, encourages him to paint more. Just like uh, if you guys you know, have an employee and you pay them a lot more, they're gonna work harder, hopefully. That's how it works for me. Pay me the big bucks. You ready, Ozzy? Sometimes he acts like a little chipmunk and he hides food in his cheeks. He's not supposed to do that. We'll see if Ozzy will show you guys how tall he is. You ready, Ozzy? You want to show everyone how tall you are? How tall are you, Ozzy? Are you still showing tall? There you go. Good job, Ozzy. Ozzy's a little um, up there around the 16 foot mark. Um, his dad, which uh, resides in Tanzania Wildlife Park in Kansas, that's where we got Ozzy. He's roughly around 17 feet tall. So we believe Ozzy will be around that height when he's fully grown in the next year, a year and a half. He'll end up weighing around 3,000 pounds. Do you guys notice that tongue of his? Really long. It actually grows one inch for every foot of giraffe. And that purple pigment on it is completely normal not weird or anything. He has that pigment on there for a specific reason. Protects his tongue from the sun. So when he's eating in the, the canopies of the trees, uh, he eats for a long time. He's up to around 18 hours a day. So to protect that tongue, that purple pigment acts as a natural sunscreen. Well, no amount of aloe vera is going to fix the sunburned tongue. Maybe we'll switch to gold. Ozzy does see in color, so um, using a different color stimulates him to paint. He does have favorites. If you guys see right behind Robin on the wall over there, he painted that because he didn't really like those colors. But he is six years old, so his favorite things change on a daily basis. Some days he likes carrots, some days he doesn't. Some days he likes cauliflower. If you guys notice he could grab really well with that tongue. There's a fancy word for that, it's called prehensile. Just means grasping. If you guys do notice Ozzy is by himself. That's normal too. Ozzy is weird, but that's normal. He is a male giraffe and they are solitary by nature. Um, they do live on the outskirts of uh, uh, the herds of females and stuff. They only meet up with other giraffes during mating season. And uh, male giraffes get kind of violent when they do. They kind of compete for the breeding rights of females. And that's called necking. They slam their heads and necks together to win the right to, to you know, mate with a female. So Ozzy is content and happy by himself. It's normal. You guys are probably wondering um, how he feels being on a property with 31 lions. He doesn't mind. 
He understands he's a lot larger than they are. Our largest lion is around 600 pounds. Ozzy outweighs him around 1,200 pounds. And Ozzy, his kick could kill a lion with a single kick. They don't normally lie down in the wild when they sleep. But Ozzy is comfortable here. He does sleep lying down. Drinking water or lying down in the wild is a sign of vulnerability, so they don't do that in the wild. Lions and crocodiles do prey on giraffes. Sometimes females do lie down in the wild because there's a big herd of them and they protect each other, but males won't. Leaves them vulnerable. Giraffes are going through a tough time in the wild. A lot of people don't care about it. It's called a silent extinction. They hear about uh, elephants and rhinos, but not much about giraffes. 80% of the giraffe population has been on the decline in the last 20 to 40 years. So Ozzy wants to let everyone know that the only way to shoot a giraffe is with a camera. He is actually pretty popular on social media. A lot of people use him as their Tinder profile. So if you guys do see him on Tinder, swipe right. We do like to keep these painting demonstrations short and sweet. We want to keep them uh, a pleasant... He does like painting. We don't want him to get bored of it. If you guys are interested in anything Ozzy produces, any of his artwork, you're going to find that in that gift shop right over there. We just want to encourage everyone to go uh, one group at a time to keep everyone safe. All right, give you a treat. If you guys uh, want to give Ozzy a big round of applause, he, he knows what that is. Yeah. And, uh, I think he enjoyed that very much. Do you want to take a bow? It's giraffe time. It's a little different. Good job. Thank you guys for coming out today. Uh, a reminder, we'll be having bird chat right here on the aisle with Caroline. She's one of our specialists with the birds. She'll be doing an educational talk with Ringo. He's a beautiful blue and gold Nicole. And Ozzy will be painting again in an hour. Thank you guys for coming out.